Deal the cards, roll the dice. Sega Sammy Holdings is betting on a potential windfall from casino resorts, diversifying from its core pachinko machines business that's facing a shrinking market. Pachinko business itself is very lucrative, so very classic business for us, even though the growth did not expect a lot. So the company took a gamble on resorts in South Korea by acquiring Phoenix Resort and opening Paradise City in Incheon in partnership with Paradise Group. Is this where the big money is going to be for Sega Sammy? Is this your next pillar of growth? Yes, if the Japan government opened the market for integral resort like Marina Bay Sands, they definitely would like to be a part of it. I understand you want to take a majority stake in your casino venture. Mm -hmm. Who are your likely partners? Yeah, we were quite open to be a partner with anyone. Then what I, we publicly say right now is, since it's a Japanese project, mm -hmm. we'd like to be a lead. We'd like to lead the project. We means we'd like to take the majority of stake. Then as long as the partners is okay to be a minority share, mm -hmm. That would be a possible, hmm. possible you, candidate. You talking to any of the foreign casino operators like MGM or Las Vegas Sands? Yeah, we can't say that it's specific names, yes, but most of the operators we have discussed already. But some operators obviously said, oh, we direct to be a majority of you know, stakeholders of project. Though those are, we haven't discussed de detail yet, but some operators agree that they can be a minority mm. in, in Japanese project. Could the casino resort business eventually overtake the entertainment content business, your key entertainment content business? Yes, I think so. There are huge potential if we were able to build like Marina Bay Sands kind of sizable integral resort in Japan. It's going to be exceeding the revenue than the existing business. Mm.